What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Mel DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to get my favorite plays for today. We got a four game main slate. Hope everybody's having a great day. If you like the video, please subscribe to your channel. Press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. Let's get to these plays. Going to my first play at the point guard spot. We'll be looking at Jalen Green and going against Miami. He's 66 on DraftKings. Getting for 71 on Fandle. He's averaging 42 fantasy points in the past five home games. Averaging 22 points a game. And going against Miami, they allow average 31 fantasy points to the position. Position. Shannon Green, great play to consider for today. Another spot for value is the kill Alexander Walker. He's 49 on DraftKings. He's priced up on Fandle at 5,500. Going against the Pelicans, in which he's averaging 31 fantasy points in the last four games. Going against the Pelicans, they have bottom tier against shooting guard reserves, even though he's point guard eligible. And last time he balled out, he did have a 36 fantasy point game against them. So back here once again, as they've been tearing up from the bench. Let's go to our next play, going to our shooting guards. Malik Beasley, going against the Pelicans, he's 59 on DraftKings. He's cheap on FanDuel, as he had a 32 fantasy point game last time he faced them. He's averaging 33.3 fantasy points in the past three games. Pelicans bottom tier against small forwards, but he is shooting guard eligible. So like I said, he had 32 fantasy points last time at home against them, and back at home again. So another play for a punt is Dyson Daniels. Going against Utah, he's 37 on DraftKings. Just like the DraftKings price tag, he had 27-18 last two games. In a favorable matchup against Utah, they allow an average 33 phase points to the position. With Alvarado and Ingram out, he's a nice little value play to consider at the shooting guard position. Let's go to our next play, going to our small forwards. Najee Marshall, he's 36 on DraftKings. He is priced up at 47 on FanDuel, but like the DraftKings price tag, they have 26, 29, 15 in the last three games. So something to consider, give you seven to eight times value. For our next play, going to our power forwards. We do have Zion Williamson, a 98 on DraftKings. He is priced up at 10,200 on FanDuel, but he's averaging 48 fantasy points in the past five games. Averaging 30 points, eight rebounds a game. And going against Utah, he did have a 46 fantasy point game last time he faced them. But 26 points in 26 minutes, so there's a fantasy point crusher here. So I like this spot for Zion once again in this matchup. Another player is Jabari Smith Jr. going against Miami at 55 on DraftKings. He is 58 on FanDuel. But love this play. He's averaging 33 fantasy points in the past five home games. As Miami allows an average 33 fantasy points to the position. Jabari Smith Jr., great play to consider. Another spot is Torrey Craig at 55 on DraftKings. He is 52 on FanDuel against the Clippers. And we just got to look into the status with Aiton and Booker. Uh, they're a game time decision, but like this favorable matchup against LA as they allow an average 36 face points to the position. He is averaging 27 face points in the past five away games. So like the spot for Torrey Craig for value. All right, let's go to our last play, going to our centers. Of course, we'll pay up. We got Giannis going against Memphis. He is priced up 12,200 on DraftKings. He is 12,000 on FanDuel. But with the value we have, you could definitely pay up for this play. He's averaging 28 points, 11 rebounds a game. And Memphis is allowing an average 27 phase points to the position. But he is averaging 63 phase points in the last two games last season against them. So going back here, and we have the news the Drew's out today. So going to go with Giannis. Definitely pay up because we do have value elsewhere on the slate. I have another play where Walker Kessler, he's 49 on DraftKings. He is priced up on FanDuel at 6,000, but DraftKings play, he did have 38 fantasy points last time. And he's back here once again, averaging 31 fantasy points in the past five home games. And he's back at home. New Orleans is bottom tier against center reserves. So I like this play for Kessler for value. And these are my favorite plays. Like the plays, definitely give me a thumbs up. Any questions, comment below using Draft Dashboard tools and the link in my description. Want to sign up? It is a dollar up to 30 days. When you sign up, get access to the NBA cheat sheet. Sleepers and your studs. Click on the watch players. You'll get my plays up top for watch Mel's DFS picks, be the DraftKings or FanDuel. So I love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mel DFS, and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.